Hi, this is Heather from Party Masters, and I'm going to teach you to make another dog. This is our poodle, which I love. This balloon does not take a lot of air. It's very similar to like the butterfly where you've got a good, um, I've got almost 10 fingers worth of space left in that. There's a lot of balls in this, so you end up pushing air really far down really quickly. So let's start by making the nose, which is going to be roughly a two inch cylinder. Then you want to make a couple of really small balls, even less than a half inch if you can manage it. Okay, nice and small. That's going to be his neck. And then what we're going to do is the balls around the head, okay? So you've got face, neck, sorry, neck, and then you're going to do the balls around the face. Similar to a teddy bear head, but all in balls. So you're going to do a small ball. Probably, what's that, just slightly bigger than these. Half inch, three quarter inch. Then a nice full one inch, okay? Then a two inch chamber for across his head, even maybe one and a half. You wanna keep these fairly tight because um, when you put the head through, you don't want it popping back out. Then another one inch, that's gonna be the same size as this one. And then another, what did we say about a three quarter inch, which is going to be the same as this one. So if you pull it out, if you take the neck out of it, these balls, these balls should be the same size and that's his head. Okay, twist those together, just the head part, the five balls. Then take your nose and poke it through. Okay, do you see how those balls help that climb up so it's not like sticking up in the air? And there you go for the head, okay? Now you're gonna make about a two inch chamber followed by a ball. I don't even know what to call that. It's like bigger than a, it's bigger than half an inch yet, not quite an inch, a three quarter inch maybe, although that's getting awfully picky. You're gonna make two of those and then another two inch chamber and put those together. That is going to be his puffy little legs and then you know how they always get that really interesting cut that uh, <laughs> makes them look such like a poodle then we're going to have another say two and a half inch you want it to be slightly bigger than what you have here okay and then roughly a two inch two inches again now I've done something here. I have accidentally left myself with not a lot of um, air. If I wanted to, I could kind of go back and I could even puff a little bit more air and his body could be a little smaller. And then you'll learn how to do some tricks like this too. And then you're gonna remake his little legs, but you've pushed a little bit of that air up into here. So instead of starting all over from scratch, you can go back and make some little adjustments, okay? And he still looks the same and everything. We just ended up taking some air out of here so we would have it for the end. If that doesn't happen to you, then great. Just go straight through. But if it does, don't worry. A one inch ball, which you're gonna make into a pinch twist. And then we want to roll that up here. Now I like to make, split that roughly in half. Okay, like that. And then what you're going to do, you're going to put that in your hand and you're going to hold on to here and then you're going to squeeze that ball. Okay, the reason you're going to hold on to here slightly is so that the air doesn't just move up a little bit. Okay. We want it to go up the whole way to the top. That can take a little bit of practice. 
the thing about this is that if you work that up like a lot of people do and they kind of squeeze it and squeeze it and squeeze it till it goes to the top you've extended this and the air is going to go back down and deflate this much easier than if you haven't and that's just freaking cool if you ask me so cute so now to do the bow all you really need to do is make a long eight and then a circle in the middle and then a couple of like a little V almost and that's gonna make it look like the bow then you want to do a couple of eyes if I have them, I will use a little gem sticker or something um, in that bow, and that really makes it look cool. But I'm not going to put that into the pictures because then the kids will expect it every time. Make the mouth and a little tongue. Go ahead and put a little smile there. And then again, just a few little dots. Okay? So there you go. You have got, just trying to get him to stand there again. You have got your little poodle. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed that one. We will talk to you next time. Bye.